Hey, you ever wonder why are the prices going up so much in real estate? I mean, in the entire country. It seems crazy. Why is it going up so much? Well, stay tuned, I'm gonna let you know. Hey, David Klein, love it, broker owner, next home, first choice, your choice in real estate, making real estate easy for you. Hey, we do videos each and every week, again, to make real estate and life easy for you. Don't forget to subscribe, give it two thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it, and I'd love to hear from you. So let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, stay to the very end, because because of this market, there's so many buyers. I have a video this, you, when you stay to the end on how to get your offer accepted when there's a multiple offers, how to make you stand out and look fantastic, e even as good as an all cash offer if you don't have all cash. So stay to the end to watch that. So let's get started. There's six different uh, things, major items, things that have happened that have caused this real estate bonanza if you're a seller and kind of a bummer if you're a buyer. So let's get to it. Number one is the 2008 economic crash. But David, that was so long ago. What's that got to do with now? Well, here's the deal. Lots and lots of builders went out of business and they didn't come back. And there's some other reasons why they didn't come back. I'll get to it. Yeah, so there's less building and it's, it's been costing more. There's so much, and that's the major thing. It's supply and demand. The supply is low, the demand gets higher, guess what? There's a whole, you go to a dance and there's two ladies and 25 guys. Those ladies are gonna be popular, even more popular than they already were. Supply and demand, all right? It's just the way that it is. It's, uh, you know, we, we live in a, a society where supply and demand, you know, a capitalist society where it matters. So that's the big one, the 2008 economic crash, using huge impact. Another one is, is zoning. People that are in the power of who, what zoning is where, the people that complain, the people that go to the city councils and all that, they want their neighborhoods to be as quiet as possible. They want the crime to be as less as possible. They want as few neighbors as possible. So they do zoning for single family, and they're the ones with the loudest mouth, the ones that aren't working two jobs, so they're able to go to all the meetings and do all the complaining, and there are no people on the city councils, and they say no multiple units. So guess what? When there's less and less and less multiple units, there's less units, less places for people to live, less supply, higher demand. So number two is zoning. Number three, hey, we, we, we've been trying to build a wall, or at least some of us have, and want to keep people out, keep immigrants out. Caveat here, just a little bit of history. If you're not Native American, you are a son or daughter of an immigrant. But neither, either way, uh, we have less immigration for whatever reasons, and that's less labor. Less labor, less affordable labor. Costs go up, less builders, it's more expensive. They're not building as much. Supply and demand, guess what? Less sellers, more buyers, because there's less labor driving the prices up, all right? Before, interest rates are at historic lows, trying to stimulate the economy, maybe uh, especially because of COVID, things are being shut down, trying to get things going. Well, guess what? Interest rates go down, there's more buyers. Supply and demand again, more buyers, less sellers okay that's number four number five and there's probably a lot more than just this this aspect of it but it's COVID itself hey in China they're very strict and really trying to and have a whole lot less people uh, get COVID and they do that by shutting things down well guess what so less lumber coming to America so and, and now um, <clears throat> we kind of uh, monopolize things. So where do you get lumber? Home Depot, no competition, less lumber coming in. Guess what? I've heard prices of lumber have gone up three, 400%. Cost of building goes up, less building, less housing units, supply and demand again. That's number five. And last but not least is sellers are afraid. 
They're afraid they have nowhere to go when they get done and when they sell. So if you don't have anywhere to go, why should I sell and then I'm going to be homeless? A friend of mine did that. He ended up living in the basement of his in-laws for like four months because they sold their home and they couldn't. It took a long time. They did, but it took them a long time to get and then the close. And then they had to incentivize the seller and give them a free month or two rent on top of the time it took for them to to find one, to make six or seven offers, to get one accepted by the time they closed escrow and then allowed the person to stay there rent free for a couple months. But at least they got out of the basement and they got their new home. So that's it, six reasons. The economic crash, crash, zoning requirements, uh, um, only single family, not multi, um, less immigration, low interest rates, COVID, and poor sellers are afraid because they have nowhere to go so they don't list their home for sale. Those are the reasons the prices have gone up so much. Here is the um, video that I've been letting you know how to get your offer accepted in this market. It'll serve you well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give some thumbs up, thumbs up share with a friend and leave a comment. We'll see you next week because we send you informative, hopefully entertaining videos each and every week. See you soon. Bye-bye.